Hello all, welcome to SourceCAD and in this tutorial we are going to make the 2D drawing in AutoCAD. So let's begin it with the rectangle tool. So we are going to make a square first. So start a square rectangle tool, click anywhere on the screen and press add the rate 140 comma 140. So it will make a square with the dimensions of 140 by 140. Now let's go to the fillet tool and let's go to radius and enter radius of 20 units okay uh, select polyline so that the fillet is applied on all the corners at once and let's move this one to the lower left corner okay now let's go to construction line click on this point and anywhere vertically then repeat it again click on this point and like this so here we have the infinite construction lines in horizontal vertical directions. Now let's go to circle, click on the center of this intersection and make a, a circle with diameter of 55 units. Go to the same center again and this time make it with a diameter of 70 unit. Now let's go to circle tool again since we have three circles here and this time make a circle with radius of uh, 6.5 unit that is diameter of 13 units now let's copy this to all the four corners all the four centers of these arcs so here we have all the four circles now let's go to line tool and make a line with length 38 units so here we have overlapping lines and now from the end point of that line make a circle with radius of 5 unit. Again go to the same center with the circle command and make a radius of 16 centimeter. Make a circle with 16, centimeter, uh, 16 units radius. Now right click tangent after selecting the line command click on these two circles. Repeat the process select the line tool then shift right click tangent shift right click tangent and select these two circles okay now we are going to trim all the unnecessary features so here we have these two lines these two arcs and these two as well now let's delete all the things which are not at all needed okay so we have a clean geometry over here and now let's mirror it so go to mirror select it and mirror it about the vertical line the central vertical line and again trim all the lines which are not needed and I'll delete this one this one is not at all needed so here we have all the required geometries now let's go to the center and make the dashed line so for making a dashed line click on the center and enter a radius of 60 unit now now we want to make it into a dashed line as it is indicated so for that select ISO dash as I'm showing on the screen just follow the steps select it and now go to this line and select IACAD ISO dash and now here you can see that this line has been converted to the dash line which is currently indicated on the screen right now and this is the step with which you can select it if you want the center line go to center line select Now you can convert it into center line. Now, even after converting this into center line, you won't find the difference. So let's change the scale. I have changed the scale to seven units, and then you can see the difference. If you want to increase the scale further, select the lines, go to properties, select the scale, and change it to eight. And now the result is quite apparent now. And here you must have remembered these two lines which we have drawn initially so let's delete it and here we have the complete geometry as always thanks for watching 